Showing all your working, find the value of each of the following. 64 to the power minus a half times 36 to the power 3 over 2. 100 to the power half all to the power 4. Showing all your working, simplify each of the following. 5x to the minus 5 over 4 times 4x to the 13 over 4. All divided by x to the 3 over 2. Part 2. 18x to the 5th plus 6x to the 2 fifths, all divided by 6x to the 1 fifth. So here's the question then in summary form. So let's have a look at it then. First of all, part 1 then. So let's have a look at that then. So we've got 64 to the minus half times 36 to the 3 over 2. Thirty-six to the three over two. Um, okay, so sixty-four to the minus a half. Then, well, that would be one over sixty-four to the half, wouldn't it? If you flip it upside down, this would be thirty-six to the three over two, which you can write as thirty-six. Then you can split it up into a power, power, can't you? A half, and then cubed. Power, power, you times, so you're back to the 3 over 2. So you can split it up like this. 64 square rooted is 1 over 8. 36 square root is, is 6. So it's 6 cubed. 6 cubed is 6 times 6 times 6. Over 8. So we can divide by 2. Top and bottom, that's a, a, a 3. And then a 4. And then there's a 3 here and that goes to 2, and then another 2 divides top and bottom. So the 2 can go completely. So we end up with 3 cubed, which is 27. So that's part 1. Part 2, 100 to the power half to the power quarter. So 100 to the power half to the power quarter. Well, 100 to the half is the square root of 100, which is just 10. So 10 to the power 4 then, which is 10 with four zeros, isn't it? 10,000. So that's part A. Part B, simplify this then. So let's copy this. I'm just going to copy this stuff here and take it down. Um, try and take a little bit less than that. Okay, so we'll copy, edit, copy, um, and then we'll drag it down. And we'll work on this. This is B part 1 now, so let's have a look at this. So part B, part 1. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got times, so we can just times these. So times 5 times 4 is 20. And this times this, they're both x to a power, so times you add the powers, don't you? So it's 13 over 4 added to minus 5 over 4 is 8 over 4. 8 over 4 is 2 over x to the 3 over 2. Now we can do divide your minus, so it's 20 lots of x. Power wise, it's divide your minus top take bottom. 2 take 3 over 2 is a half. So it's 20x to the three uh, to the power half. Part two. So let's go and copy that one then. Move back up, just get this bit. So let's just move this down now then. So I'm just going to take this down and work on this part of the problem then. Okay. So we got this. It's add. So we need to see what's common on top and common on the bottom, don't we? Now there's a 6 common on the top, isn't there? Because there's a 6 and an 18. So bracket. Then inside, well, we can take out something else that's common, can't we? An x to the 5th is common. So we can put that outside the bracket. But we do need to write the fraction correctly, x to the 5th. So here we've got, to get this, we times this by 3, don't we? That gives us 18x to the 5th. To get this, we've got the 6. We just need another x to the 5th. Because times you add the powers. And if we times this and collect, expanded this bracket in reverse, you get 6x to the 2 fifths, which is what we've got there. 
all divided by 6x to the fifth. So these terms cancel, top and bottom, and we're simply left with 3 plus x to the 1 fifth. Or, if you prefer, it's easier on the eye, if you prefer, x to the fifth plus 3.